Hi students, this is uh, Amit Shur, Department of uh, ECE. Good morning to one and all. So in today's class, uh, I will explain about uh, the new chapter that is VHDL Synthesis and uh, Circuit Design Flow. So up to now, uh, we have seen uh, different uh, logic functionalities so that, uh, that that logic functionality may consist uh, the Boolean expressions. So the Boolean expression is nothing but so we can consider uh, any type of uh, logic gate, either it may be a combinational circuit or a sequential circuit. So for example, the Boolean expression is equal to y is equal to a into b plus c whole bar, whole bar. So this is uh, an unoptimized Boolean expression. So by using this Boolean expression, so you can implement this circuit as a gate level circuit. That means to perform or to get this type of application, so we have to implement that functionality by using different gate circuits. So the already we implemented by using that logic functionality by using uh, PMOS design and NMOS design and uh, uh, CMOS design. So already we seen how to construct uh, a logic circuit uh, from different uh, Boolean expression and also that logic circuit can be implemented uh, with help of uh, uh, stick diagram and the layout diagram. So this is uh, a procedure for to implement uh, a specific uh, circuit functionality. So here uh, in this unit, so we have to define or we have to write a program uh, like a C language program to implement uh, a desired functionality. That means, uh, so for every circuit, so manually we don't go for uh, a physical gate structure or physical device. So before the fabrication, that means uh, before we are implementing uh, a IC, integrated circuit, so we have to first let, let us check whether that uh, desired or defined uh, program will meet in the application or meeting the desired specified circuit. So for that purpose, so we go for VHDL synthesis. So VHDL is acronym for V and V and the difference between HDL. So it will be defined. V stands for very high speed integrated circuit and the HDL stands for hardware description language. That means we have to implement any physical circuit so that will be definitely before the physical device. So we have to write the code in the language it is nothing but VHDL language. Very high speed integrated circuit hardware description language. So this VHDL procedure is described for to implement or to define a specific gate level circuit. That means whatever, for example, we consider a adder circuit. So the adder may have one exclusive OR gate and one AND gate. So whenever we define XOR gate, so that will be that may have some functionality, AND gate has some functionality. So that will give some AND the carry output. So that whenever we meet that uh, sum and the carry expressions, so then only that fulfills uh, the off adder uh, circuit. So to meet, meet that, so to meet a specific uh, off adder functionality, so we have to write uh, the programming for both the gates. One is the exclusive OR gate and another one is the uh, AND gate. So here the synthesis is nothing but so it's converting code to circuit, converting the code to circuit. So it is nothing but uh, uh, whatever we define the uh, functionalities, that is the program, uh, 
within the program so that will whatever the function be defined within the program uh, so that will convert like as a physical structure so within the software itself so it converts uh, a physical circuit so that is nothing but it is simply it is like as a c type language and that will be defined uh, so in what format we have to define the program or what format uh, that uh, program will consist in what manner from uh, top to bottom level so whether it may be we have to define the program in uh, uh, different models those are nothing but one is the circuit design flow and another one is uh, behavior and another one is uh, data flow and another one is uh, structural flow so in any format so we have to define uh, uh, the program so that will be simply that will consist uh, the rtl2 and unoptimized boolean expression and the unoptimized boolean expression to optimized boolean expression so then only we go for the uh, fabrication clear so the synthesis tool uh, it will infer uh, a hardware architecture from the bhdl model so what i here uh, infer is nothing but conclude the meaning of the infer is uh, it is a uh, conclude so the the synthesis it will conclude uh, a hardware uh, architecture that means whenever we writing the program so then we we are came to synthesis step then uh, at that uh, point so it uh, definitely concludes uh, the architecture of uh, defining each and every point uh, within the architecture of the device so that will that will by implemented by using a vhdl language that is a very high speed integrated circuit hardware description language so simply it is also call it as in short form of pom so t is t is defined as translate so we have to translate the one form to another form or uh, converting one n to another n so and o is nothing but optimize and m is nothing but map so here uh, the synthesis is nothing but uh, so we have we have a uh, different uh, programming uh, like uh, architectural and uh, behavioral uh, data flow so this will be writing in, in this type of uh, format so that may that the entity may consist uh, the input and outputs of the device so we have to define uh, input and outputs of the uh, respective circuit so after that the port will be the entity will be and and architecture so it is uh, which type of functionality that will be implemented in the architecture so whenever it will be the, the same information will follow in the synthesis that means the synthesis will converse uh, a gate level network so here uh, whatever uh, this uh, shown diagram so likewise uh, so whatever we define that uh, functionality so that will converts uh, this type of uh, physical architecture physical gates uh, that means whatever the gates to require to implement uh, the logic functionality so this will uh, define uh, the synthesis process the synthesis process that is nothing but uh, vhdl very high speed uh, description language so the, this will be created by the user so that means whatever the requirement that means in what form to what type of functionality we are uh, uh, defining so that will be defined by the user so that is in the form of uh, rtl register transfer level or logic description so this will be this consists uh, so how the data will be transmitted or the program will transmit from one register to another register so that means the rtl description initialize or tells us that to how the data will be transmit uh, from one or uh, one device to another uh, device so uh, after that uh, so that device will be translate into unoptimized boolean description so it is also if that uh, process or that program will be unoptimized so that will takes more number of uh, gates to implement that logic functionality so, so to overcome that problem that means uh, the process whatever we define the program that will be converted into an unoptimized boolean expression so that will be again uh, optimized into 
optimized boolean description so the whatever the logic function will be optimized then it may takes less number of gates to implement a specific or desired logic function so after that we go for the gate level netlist so the gate level netlist is nothing but map to gates that means whatever the logic functionality we define that logic function so that will be exactly converted that entire program into a whatever this type of logic gates so this is called synthesis process we'll continue on next topic that is circuit design flow so already we seen what is a synthesis so that means how that will uh, the optimized boolean expression will be converted into physical device so that uh, that will be it is a one time one part of uh, circuit design flow so after the synthesis uh, how the gate level netlist will be produced within that uh, ic integrated circuit so it is the process of synthesis it is the process of uh, creating uh, gate level description of the blocks uh, that are uh, described uh, behaviorally and that will be whatever uh, we define the logic functionality so that will be performing for example consider an or gate so that will perform the uh, addition operation and we can consider the and operation so that that will be uh, performs multiplication operation so whenever we defining the logic functionality so that will the behavior of the circuit uh, it, that will be performing the same behavior or the other type of behavior so that will be verified uh, by the circuit design flow so that for that one we have for the synthesis uh, we have to use uh, uh, two type of uh, tools those are nothing but uh, jailings and the uh, carrots so these are the some of the softwares uh, uh, used for the uh, VHDL programming language. So here we have to define where whether the functionality may be defined in the format of behavioral or data flow or structural in whatever manner. So whenever we define the program in any type of that model, so that will gives a proper output. That is a proper logic functionality. so here the circuit design flow it will uh, converts a uh, specific optimized uh, description into the physical device that means uh, by, uh, that means the by using placement and routing we get a physical device so that we already the circuit design flow will also consist the vhdl entry that is very high speed integrated circuit hardware description language so that is uh, we have to define uh, the language in the type of rtl uh, level that is register uh, tra transfer level or transfer uh, logic so that will be the by using the compilation that means uh, so it will defines or it will analyze how the data or the program uh, will transmit from uh, one and to another and that means uh, one block to different sub blocks or uh, one register to another register how the data will be transmit from uh, here to and next point next level of the circuit so that will the overall data will be consists uh, uh, within the format of uh, register transfer level so uh, by using the compilation so compilation is nothing but so compilation is the process of reading the source code so and analyzing the logic functionality of the circuit so it will whatever we defined uh, the source uh, uh, operation within the program so that the compilation will study that uh, will study that code format and gives some uh, analytic or uh, problems with regarding with that uh, program so after the compilation so again we have to use uh, the gate level netlist that means it will convert an optima optimized boolean expression into optimized gate level netlist for example in case of the gate level so that may have uh, a delay or uh, any unoptimized portion 
after that compilation so that will make take more number of gates to implement that logic functionality so to overcome that we are going for a optimization process so that the optimized net netlist will uh, have a, a specific gate that means if that uh, the that the program doesn't have any bugs or the delays so that will may take uh, less number of gates to implement that functionality so if any uh, errors or uh, syntax or semant semantic errors uh, within that program so if that uh, by using the simulation again it will go to the starting itself that means uh, again it will go to rtl level so if the simulation is yes so that will the data or the program will be going to the physical device that means that will be came into a physical is integrated circuit so by using the simulation so we have to verify whether the logic functionality is coming or not whether the logic functionality is right or wrong after that by using proper placement and routing placement is nothing but so we have to uh, uh, divide uh, the large number of blocks into a uh, small number of blocks and whenever we have to give some uh, uh, interconnections from one logic to another log or one block to another block by using the routing so by uh, that will the device will be uh, came into a physical structure so here if the simulation is uh, Uh, not correct then again it will be going to the vhc real and this so and that uh, it does not perform uh, proper placement and routing again after that uh, uh, fabrication itself again it will be going to the vhc real and so this is about uh, circuit design flow thank you